Okay, you want to combine multiple sheets into one. We're gonna look at two scenarios. First is where you want to do the combining in the same workbook as your original sheets. And the second is where you want to do that in another workbook. Let's look at the first scenario. So I've got five sheets showing sales within each region. And on each sheet, the data is housed in an Excel table. Now, if you don't know how to do that, we'll do it for Wales. You click somewhere in your data, you go to the insert tab on your ribbon, click on table, click on okay, and then give the table a name. And you can do that up here in the table name box. I'll call this WAL. Press enter to confirm the name. So once you have all your tables, go to the data tab on your ribbon, go to get data from other sources, blank query. This opens Power Query, and in the formula bar, type the following formula, excel.currentworkbook. You should see it there in the IntelliSense list where you can click on it. Open bracket, close bracket, press enter, and it will list all of the tables in your workbook. So these are the names we have given our tables. What we need to do is combine them, and we do that with this button here. You need to untick use original column name as prefix. Click on OK. And it will combine all of the data into one table. Now you might need to modify some of these formats. For example, date did not include a time element in the original data source. So we click on this button and choose date. You might also want to do things like change the price field to currency and also the revenue. So once you've completed those modifications, give the query a name. So I'm gonna call this all regions. And then you can load it back into Excel. And to do that, home tab in Power Query, click on close and load. And you can see it's created a sheet called all regions, which I'll just move to the end. And this includes all of the data across those five original sheets. Now the trouble is, is if I refresh this, it will increase the number of rows in that sheet. Now we need to investigate why it does that. So if we edit this query, right click, edit. And what I'm gonna do is go back to the source, the data source for our query. Now, if you look down this list, you can see that it's including the all region sheet in our query. If you can't see all regions there, just click on refresh preview and it'll appear in the list. So we want to exclude the all region sheet. And to do that, click on this little filter button and then untick all regions. Click on OK and then close and load the query. And you can see we're back to the proper amount of rows in our data. Now, what would happen if I add an additional sheet? Well, let's open up an additional data set. So I'm gonna copy this sheet to our other workbook, right click on the sheet tab, move or copy, copy to the combine multiple sheets into one workbook. I'm gonna create a copy and I want it before the all regions sheet. So now I've got this south sheet in my workbook. I'm going to refresh the query. You can see it picks up that new data. If I go down to the bottom here, you can see that I've got these southern branches that came from this particular sheet. Okay, so that's how to combine data from multiple sheets and to do so within the same workbook as the original sheets. Let's look at the other scenario where we want to combine data in a separate workbook. So I'm in a blank workbook. I go to data, get data from file, from Excel workbook. And then I'm going to browse for the workbook I want to import data from. Click on import. So this will list all of the tables in that workbook. You just need to select one of them, doesn't matter which one you select, and then go down to transform data.
In the applied steps list, just delete all steps apart from the source step. In the kind column, you only want to show tables, not sheets. Then select the data column, go to remove columns, remove other columns, and then click on this combine button. Untick use original column name as prefix, click on OK. Now, like with our first example, you may need to modify some of the formats applied to these columns. For example, price should be currency, and so should revenue. Once you're done, close and load to Excel, and all of the data is in one sheet. Now, it's worth noting that with both the scenarios we have looked at, if you add data to any of these tables and then refresh these queries, your combined table will include the new data. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.